Hey, Jug Monkey friends, it's Sonia and Matt, and it's Friday. Friday. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? It's an awesome day. Woke up to some rain this morning. Oh, that sunshine. Did you see the sun just came out just like that? It's like burning my skin right now, okay? So we've got light here. It's a bit of an overcast day. What's the weather like where you guys are tuning in from today? I don't know about you, but I love it when I get an overcast, cloudy, kind of a rainy in-between kind of day because it makes me want to create. So today we're going to do some creating here at the shop. And I have been fortunate enough to be um, not just given one, but four of these chairs right here, okay, plus a table that you see down here as well that I need to paint. So we're going to start on the very first project today, which is the flip of the chair. So today I'm going to show you how I flip this chair and uh, how I make it beautiful. Yes, it's got some high gloss on it, some varnish. Back in the day, everything was like super, super varnished over and over and over did I say and over again, right? So we're gonna make it beautiful today. I'm gonna show you how to flip it and we'll add some whimsy to it. We'll take out the stencil book and see what we can do, okay? So if you need some inspiration for this weekend, this is the place to be. I'm gonna have a, have, hey, I'm gonna have a mat. I'm gonna have a mat in the room. I'm pretty sure that's like, should be in a book. I've got a mat in the box. Um, I'm gonna have Matt do some shout outs in just a second, but I gotta give some shout outs, okay? Because I got some happy mail. I'm serious, I started to hear this open. I'm like, oh, you know what? We're, let's, let's just enjoy some funness together, all right? So I got this in the mail and from one of you lovely people out there and it says, I mean, the package just, just says, I believe in unicorns. And I don't know about you this morning, but if you caught my story here on Facebook, I put on a unicorn filter and I said, it's Friday, we can be anything on Fridays, including a unicorn, all right? So I know I'm gonna love whatever's in this bag. You guys know me so well. And I gotta tell you, I love it when you send me gifts. True story, you don't have to, but I do love it. Oh my gosh, so these are, let's see, leggings for a cause. Oh my, let me see here. I got to open this up because I never know until I get to the nitty gritty inside. It's got a butterfly on the front. It says, Dear Sonia, just a little something for you. Oh, to say thank you for all you do and continue to do. Shauna Michelle from MS Creation Shop. You guys probably know if you've been following us for a while that uh, MS Creation Shop located up in New York. And let me see, they're in the Saratoga Springs area. They're a retailer. Broadleben. What's that? They're what? Broadleben. Broadleben? Mm -hmm. Okay, Matt knows that name. All right. Go, okay, if you really want to find them, like, where they are in New York, if you go to jugmonkeypaint.com, click find a retailer at the top, and it's linked uh, to their stuff, right? So I don't know all the parts of New York, but I always call it just the Saratoga Springs area because a lot of people know where that area is, you know what I'm saying? So Sean and Michelle are up there, and I think it's really cool, too, because these um, leggings for a cause, I know that Sean and Michelle are, um, are creatives in their own way as well, but they're also uh, bringing, basically, awareness of MS, which I think it's it's awesome that their name is Michelle Sean, MS Creation Shop, and also they bring awareness of um, what is it, multiple sclerosis, right, mm -hmm. um, to the uh, to the forefront, and uh, just spread inspiration through their creativity and just awareness of you know positivity and all that all that that comes together. You know what I'm saying? So they're doing great things. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! These are so soft and buttery. Look what she said. Oh my gosh, okay, and us ladies, we know we like the wide band, okay, on a pair of uh, leggings, so, um, right? <gasps> do, do we really need to go to that high-pitched oh Okay, I'm gonna, frequency? yes, because I, I made the sound of an owl, oh my all right, gosh. like screeching owl. I'm Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and put these on now. Um, I'm joking, I know we need to paint, I know we need to paint, I was but ready to throw we all like getting me. Happy yeah. Mail, so thank you MS Creation Shop for yeah. uh, just gifting me these leggings today. You're doing amazing things, keep doing what you're doing. Hopefully what I'm gonna do today will give you, everybody here, some inspiration today. And also I have to do a shout out to uh, Laura Miller with Meraki Motif. Hopefully I said your business name right, Laura. She sent me a package and included, She this must be some of Laura's favorite tea because she knows that I'm a hot beverage kind of drinker in the morning. And I've never had organic red tea before. Have you? Have you? It's Anybody? Rojo tea. It's what? Rojo tea. Rojo tea. What is Rojo. that? Red tea. What's the difference between black tea and red tea? It's just a little lighter in color, a little bit richer in color. So you tell me I'm going to like it. It, but it's just going to be a little bit different. I don't see why not. It's well, I'm going to give it a shot. Yes. Listen, I drank tea growing up when you're sick, when you're happy, when you're going to bed, when you're waking up. Okay? All the things. That's, that's Absolutely. Uh, and I got my new Epsi bag. Well, you bag. can't disappoint the queen. 
guys. I will open this up on my YouTube channel at Junk Monkey Paint Company. You guys know over the last few months I've been opening up over there. So just a little fun in my life today. Man, it's Friday. It's a good day, okay? And so this piece is no longer going to be brownie frowny when we're done because we're going to get to painting it, okay? So here is the true deal. I'm going to get started. I want Matt to do some shout outs as to who is on here and tell us about our giveaway today. I like you. Give me, give the shout outs after we're like way right into it. Well, Oh, yeah. Scroll, so, man, scroll. Linda, Linda, Linda's here. Camera So I'm going to do a quick, quick um, sand buffer of this, okay? That's all. Go ahead. Yeah? Yes, but I had to tell them because otherwise they'd be asking what I was doing. So if I get a super shiny piece, I just do a little buff real quick before I start. I'm not sanding the veneer off, but I am grabbing one of my medium grit sand pads, the ones that are available on our website, jumpmonkeypaint.com. And there we go. All right, we're going to ready to get started now. All right, take it away. Take it away. You sure? Yep. You positive? Yeah. Oh, there was one more thing I wanted to say. No, I'm joking. It's all you. <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. All right, go for it. 20 go years of that. Go for 20 it. 20 years of that. <laughs> he hasn't run away yet. Yeah. All right, I gotta do no, this Believe way. me, I tried, but the shock collar. You know, yeah, it's, it's he just tough. keeps coming back. It could be yeah. the shock collar. I don't know. Tina King says hello. Kathy Schrohecker says hey, Sonia Matt. Nancy hey, Lopez is in hot and humid Florida. Woohoo! Uh, Rita Nance says hello. Uh, Jan's oh, checking hey, in hey, from hey. Overcast, West Virginia. It's Overcast here too. We're not too far away from you. Did you get my heat gun? Klaus is here. Klaus in the house! Uh, Anna's on. Uh, Denise Perkins. Nicole yeah, Ranch, Anna. Susan Bates. Uh, not your sister, Anna. Anna is Frankie. it Anna Frankie? Yes. She's still here. Susan Anna. Saunders. Kathleen Starkovich, smoky and hot and ready. I'd imagine you guys oh. stay safe out there. Oh, uh, Kathy yeah, checking right? in from Rome, Georgia. It's funny. I, I have a story from Rome, Georgia, Rome but I can't, I can't uh, tell it. Anyways, uh, Donna Dobbs. Uh, Whisper to me later. <laughs> I can't. Linda Gale Shepherd, Crystal Sheffield, Adriana Mendoza. Uh, Darlene Wright says 83 in Lebanon, Ohio. Nice. Debbie Sandy Stone says checking in from Tulare, California. Um. Uh, uh, Jan already shared it. Uh, Pat Hunt is checking in from Newfoundland. Actually, Pat, we're gonna be we're gonna be there in like two weeks. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what part? Be, remind me where you're. What part yeah, you are, in Newfoundland? Yeah. I may be coming through your Cindy's area. Cindy's checking in from Roanoke, Texas. Oh, that's okay. Kate's that's getting me okay. set up. Wow. I forgot to plug in my heat gun. See, we were, we were communicating while you were doing shout outs. Oh that's that's my how gosh. women communicate. We can like just. It's like the scene from know. Airplane where Johnny pulls the plug out of the. Uh, out of the wall and all the lights go out in the airport and he's sitting there going hey, just oh, kidding <laughs> <laughs> johnny was the best part of that entire movie Too funny. unfortunately he was uh he appeared in the second one but by that time he was pretty sick and he passed away shortly but Aww. he was the best made people laugh man oh johnny i mean, he was he was he, he was the best thing in that about that movie. man so jane garrett checking Strobe in light. Okay, Denise maybe, Cottle. Maybe. How many people Thank does you, it take Kate. to plug yeah. in a uh, extension cord? Yes. How do you Springfield, Missouri? Uh, Janet Muller says, love, love, love you guys. Yay. I go through withdrawals when I don't see Aww, you. Aw, that is so kind of you. You well, can move in downstairs. There you go. <laughs> we'll put you to work. <laughs> and you'll be done with us in about two days. Man, I wish those people would Jamie be Todd says, Matt, you love it. No, I don't. No, I don't. This is, that, hey, that Jamie Todd. How are you, girl? You know the deal. <laughs> so, anyways, Brittany's checking out for Scottsdale. Hello, Scottsdale in the house. Our old hometown. Yes, it is. Kathy Dykes from the Oregon coast. Laura Scott says, hey. Karen Pope says, hi, guys. Karen. Uh, Stephanie says, hey, from warm and sunny St. Louis. We'll be in St. Louis in October. I know. Listen, last week, um, Scott was telling me it was 10 weeks away. And now it's a week later. So, like, I cannot believe how just fast Well, we need to get our going. promotionals Yeah, done. we need to get, like... The whole everything planned out. We're sponsors of the crafty yeah, convention we need to coming get up in October. The bags done, and uh, we're we're giving out some swag. Let me just tell you, we've been floating all kinds of great ideas around. You're gonna love it, whatever we end up picking up. Yeah, we're picking for you guys. But yes, we've got to like, you know. Sherry's checking in monkeys. from rainy Nashville, Janice in West Tennessee. Stephanie Tennessee. says Texas in the house. Sharon is from Oregon. Uh, Don Jones, I wouldn't roll top desk. I can paint. Yeah. What would you do with it? Paint it. Heck yeah. Paint you it. Just pick your color. You grab a brush and you go bananas. It's really Christy's easy. Christy's checking right? in from Millersburg, PA. Christy, That's a good is. town. Shirley Secord says hello there. Delphia says 
share as usual. Oh, uh, Melody Stone Grease. Oh, what are getting today? Grease Creek. Uh, I'm not done with my shout outs yet. Alright, alright, keep going, keep Gosh. going. Well, excuse me. Uh, it's Till River is the color. Uh, Marlene Rice Chicken from Indiana. Donna Dobbs. Yes. Uh, Elizabeth Schultz is from Upper Dalby. She, Darby, she has an old metal falcon. Can I, can I paint? Yes, you can. Yep, use the Denise Musgrave said Sheridan Forza. Thank you, Denise. Um, okay, all right, all right, that's enough. Let me get to the end. Uh, today we're having 20 big banana bucks. Yep. So you can use. We're hanging out with us on a Friday. We're, we're doing the banana bucks because. People are loving the banana bucks. Yep. I, I think it's they because... They would love the banana bucks. Well, I think it's because they get to pick they instead of us color. picking. Yep. So, I agree. Anyway. I agree. Fully agree. Right. <laughs> Marita says hello from Georgia, the land of only two seasons, summer and almost summer. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of the way it was in North Carolina. <laughs> too funny. Guys, what do you think so far? Are you seeing it going down? I did not take a before photo, but luckily I have three more of these chairs. So that will work, right? So all I've done is grab my oh man, do you see what I just done? What you Talking just about done? what I just did. What you just done? Listen, oh, yeah. I've created a new effect for my hair, right there, Ooh. right there. Okay. Mm. So you know, some people Ooh. will go and they'll pay a lot of money yeah, to have this yeah, done by their yeah, stylist. Right. You know, Kate, remember when you went and you got some color put in your hair? Heck yeah. Yeah, girl, you could have just been like, girl, I'm gonna stay late. Can you paint my hair? So yeah. all I need to do is just put a little bit of water on this, okay? Yeah. Actually, so, do you uh, want to pass me my spray bottle? Kate would be so kind. <laughs> Yeah, I can get it before it dries. We it make your silky smooth, no? Yeah. <laughs> come here, let, uh, let Scrappy Coco make you silky smooth. Oh smoke. my God, it was such a good movie. So, uh, now we have to tell them what the movie was. They know what it is. Okay, all right. If somebody needs to know, let us know. Because you know what? Uh, it is a good movie. Sometimes yes. you just want to watch movies Let me over get my over fizzy again. bubbler and uh, listen to this. <laughs> Disco, disco, sexy, sexy. There you go. Uh, Sue you <laughs> Light is checking in from Cookville, Tennessee. Hey. Brenda's in Need More, Pennsylvania. Where is Need More, Pennsylvania? Well, apparently Don when you're in Pennsylvania there, you always need more. So. Donna Jones is in Jackson, yeah. Michigan. Woohoo! Yes. Oh, I like that. I like what I'm a seeing. All right. Oh, thank you so much, Adam. You're awesome. You're awesome. Look. All right. Woo! Woo! Oh, sorry, Adam. Very nice. Too funny, too funny. Come here, Mrs. M, let me get the hair. I did there, get that huh? pretty well, huh? so I figure huh? I should just go ahead and yes. take that off right now, right? Yes, yes. Before it sets up. Because, yes, it will stick to anything, including you. This is why I love it to have a painter's tarp down, okay? So, a painter's tarp is a wonderful, wonderful thing. All right. Hopefully, I didn't just put blue paint all over my face. I don't think I did. So, let's move on. I'm going to dry this real fast. So, yeah, actually, speaking of movies, I think you guys should give me some good movies to watch this weekend. Oh, my. Yes, I need some good, good movies to watch this weekend, you know? You know uh, what I'm saying? Gwen, so, I don't yeah, know if we have time to go back to the long, long ago. Long, long ago. Yes. In a galaxy the other day you mentioned you away. wanted thicker paint and Matt made it. Can you tell that full story? And Matt, yes. Yes, I can. Oh, God. All right. You did it now, Gwen. <laughs> Cause Matt likes to. Matt's a chef by trade, and he's very good, and has always been very good at creating things. And just like I don't know, you're just really me. I just dump things into a casserole and just hope they blend. He knows a science between reactions and what goes well together. So regardless of whether we realized it or or not, as our paint just developed organically, you know, it was just it was just the right fit, right? So me as a painter. I want it to be able to have a paint that would do what I want it to do, which was have it thicker, so when I do stencils, it wouldn't like run and drip. I could control it. It would like, dry in a nice flat matte look that I like. It would be so thick that when I covered it, like say for example, if there was a Sharpie marker that I got from an old piece of furniture that was completely, you know, just used and abused, it would give a nice overall coverage. I wanted a paint that would really self-level. So when I put it on, it would just like sink into the piece really, really nicely. And I wanted a paint that was going to be easy to work with, that would dry fast, that wouldn't peel no matter what surface I put it on. And um, so Matt said, you know what, I honestly, for me, uh, and I always tell you guys on here, you know, we, we, um, you know, our business was always started or was started from our home, our garage when this first started. And I flipped furniture because it was a way for me to make extra money, right? How many of you guys know that it takes like two people to be able to even like keep a, a household alive at this point, right? And so I was doing it to uh, make some extra money for us to be able to at one point to 
get a ticket to fly back home to Canada because it was expensive and I did not have, not have any extra money to do so. Um, but I couldn't afford the price of paint for some paint that I had found out there. And I remember one day we went to a store and I went to get some of a furniture style paint and I was so broke I could not afford it. I could not afford it and I could not pay what they wanted for a can of paint. And I was disappointed because at the time Matt drove me there and I kind of added in my mind that I couldn't wait to try this. And it was so expensive I left him empty, empty handed. And Matt knew that I was upset. Like I was like, oh, you know, drove 45 minutes and can't afford the paint. And um, so he said, don't worry about it. When we get home, I'm going to make you some paint. I will help you make some paint that you can flip your furniture with and do it because I'm a girl on a budget. And um, I like to be able to, I'm finding pieces on the side of the road that are free, like this here that somebody gifted me. And I wanted to be able to sleep at night and knew that I had money for actual food and it didn't just go to all paint. And so Matt's like, we'll make a quality paint for you to be able to use. And he did. We went home and that following days, I, I'm like, how are you going to make paint? Like seriously, how in the world are you even going to make paint? But you know what? He just naturally, it just came to him and he did a lot of research and he tried a lot of different things and combinations and he would pass it to me in a mason jar and say, here, paint with that and see if you like it. And I would paint with it and I'd say, um, can you make it a little bit thicker um, or can you get it to this sort of consistency? And he would go, give it to me back. I'll go back. And I didn't know what he was doing. And he passed me another mason jar, maybe in another day or so and say, try that or let's wait and see how, you know, how this sets up or, you know, how it's going to work when you paint it. And we got it to a point where it was like, this is perfect, Matt. This is awesome. Like, this is exactly what I love to paint with. I can manipulate it. I can blend it. I can do all kinds of effects with it. And I love how it's sitting down. And um, so from that, that is what I use for all my furniture. And with my furniture designs, it started to grow and grow and be more popular. And then people would say, what kind of paint are you using? What brand of paint are you using? And I'd say, well, I'm not using a brand. I'm using my own. It's just my own paint that me and Matt, Matt make together. And me as a shabby style painter. I just have it the way I like to see a project turn out. And they'd say, well, boy, we love your project, so we'd love to get your paint. And the paint was never supposed to be for sale. It was just for me to paint with, to be able to do affordable, quality, beautiful creations. And um, because people kept asking, you know, me and Matt were like, I guess we could put a, put some, a little bit left over that I have into like some mason jars and sell it. And we did that, right? So a lot of you guys have the very first mason jars that we started off with. Like, like seriously, we started off with just enough paint in an old vintage suitcase in the corner of our shop that was only supposed to be open for six months for the summer because I thought if I open the shop for six we months... We didn't have any money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? This is true. This is scary times, man. I tell you guys this in my coaching career club all the time that... You know, even when you open a business, um, you don't have to have a billion, gazillion dollars, but if you love what you do and um, you take good care of people and you're passionate about your product or the service or the solution that you're providing, it's just amazing where things can go. And so it started off very organically for us, very, very humble beginnings. And uh, people would come in and get the paint, but seriously, I, you know, it was enough paint to fit in a little suitcase in the corner. I still have pictures from time to time. It'll come up in my time hop. And, um, you know, we, we, we came up with a name colors. with it. Yeah, I think we yeah. started with just a couple colors, just the colors that I was using. And people would, would buy um, a jar of paint and they would come back and say, hey, can you, um, I came back to get some more. Boy, I just love your paint. I love how it goes on. And so that's pretty much the story of how it came to be. And we've stayed true to that recipe. And as our paint line has grown over the last few years, not because we came out of the gate and we said, hey, we want to be a paint company. I'm a painter first, and I like to have beautiful quality um, tools. You and, might as well tell them the original know, name of the it. business was not Jump Monkey. No, Jump. it was not. It was Sonia Shabby Chic because I'm Sonia and I love me some Shabby Chic. I made that. Has uh, not I changed, made her change right? the name and she <laughs> as didn't we like grew. It. Well, we talked about the name of it and stuff, and it was it was a big decision. I mean, I had my name on a, on the side of a building, which was a whole scary experience in itself. Well, the paint didn't can't even, hide now anymore yeah, behind the paint uh, didn't even have are, a right? name. No. Yeah. So we came up with the name together, and we worked through it together, and eventually it evolved, uh, not from Sonia Shabby Chic, so if you, you guys are on my Pinterest account, you will see photos that have that watermark, Sonia Shabby Chic, on it, and this is what I teach you guys in my Coach and Create Club, is that you know if you start off honestly in business, you're not out there to make money, you're just doing what you love, and things just naturally grow from that. Um, you know, it's nice to have a name that you can grow under because your interest can change. And so I started off doing custom painted furniture for people every single day. And now um, I, I may take a, a custom furniture piece like once every once a year. 
maybe two years because now I'm so busy and my business has really evolved into the fact that now all the things and the techniques that I did for other people, I teach you guys how to do that, right? So you can do it for yourself. You can do it, make money off it and flip, you know, furniture for yourself and give you lots of ideas, that sort of thing. And now we ship our paint all over the country, which is crazy because this is, it's cool like how it all turned out. Um, but you know, you guys are on this journey with us. Who has been on here? Hashtag banana bunch since the very beginning to may remember that. Jamie and Todd uh, was one. yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, that's why she's become such a good friend of the junk monkey, right? Linda, Linda, Linda. Original beginnings, <laughs> and so you know what? If you're creative, just stay true to what you do. And um, you know, for us, we just do what we love, and we show up. And so whether we have this camera here or not today. This is what I would be doing behind the scenes. But I started sharing with people what I was doing. I started sharing my paint, which originally I was like, mm, I don't know. And yeah, so what's well, really cool yeah. is when we got to the point where now we couldn't keep up because we had, I liken it to like, you know, when you um, are baking cookies for the entire country. Let's be honest. No, no, let's be honest. You broke me. <laughs> I did. Okay. Matt's arms nearly fell off of it. So... <laughs> But hey, you know, a little hard work never hurt anybody, right? Oh crap, I couldn't so, even lift my arm up past my waist. Okay, talk about diva, right? Hello, insert diva right here. Yeah. So, no. So anyway, we got through it, we got through it, but then we had to go and we had to figure out, you know, how are we going to make this work? Because with such a demand on our paint, how are we going to keep uh, supplying the entire country? When we started this off very humbly, literally with hand, you know, hand mixing paint. And so for a long time what? we did that. And $25 and, uh, in the bank account. Yeah, right. <laughs> Seriously. With two dumbs to rub together. Seriously. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. But you know what? If any, That's why I'm so passionate about what I do. And, you know, you guys know me as a painter. But I'm also somebody who loves to encourage other, creator, other creators and makers. And just people that have that fire in their belly that, you know, they want to go ahead and have their own business as well. That you can do it. I and did you it. don't need a ton of money in your bank account. You just got to have, you know, I think, hard, good work ethic. Uh, I, I, I mean, to be honest, from my end, I wanted nothing to do with it. Matt got roped into this. Yeah, I did. absolutely. I only did. I only made her paint just to make her happy. Yes. <laughs> You're such a good husband. But now look where the junk monkey has grown. It's pretty darn cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, seriously. I can remember. Like, yeah. I can remember. True story. Um, you know, that we were so broke. That, you know, if there was a little bit of space in my credit card, if I stopped to get fuel at the gas station, going, please, dear Lord, like, I just want a tank of gas because I had to travel somewhere, and I just hope my card will, will you know, accept this in the machine, and if I go more than my limit that's on my, my little credit card, that's okay, you know what I mean, I'll figure that part out later, because times were so, so tight, mm -hmm. and um, so, honestly, flipping furniture started as a way to make extra money for me, and I've grown my business very, very... Like, I believe in quality over quantity. I believe in you know doing things that make sense for your business and um, being strategic about it. And yeah, there's lots of great things I'd love to have, and we'll get there, right? We ate a lot of beans and ramen noodles. <laughs> like when you guys, hey, I love beans and ramen noodles. Um, like you know when you guys say, you know, do you guys have this product or will you offer this? Oh yeah, we have a long list of things. But what we do is we're being smart about our business, hey, and so we're happy to be able to see, say that we've grown our business um, and we're completely debt free and. We have grown our business in the manner in which that, you know what, we work hard and then we take that amount of money and we invest it into whatever is going to be the next new product for you guys, right? And that's how we do it. So sometimes still, it might take still, us a little bit to get there. It's funny. But we, we do it. Yeah, we, we're not extravagant in our lifestyle. No, whatsoever. we're definitely not, yeah. No, everything that we do, it goes right back into the business. And, yep, absolutely. You know. but this, it, is, this is what we do. But it yep. was kind of funny just to tell you a story about... Um, where you come, where you been, and where you go to is there were days when I was in the Marine Corps and we were first married and we had a kid on the way, and uh, I would go donate plasma <laughs> twice a week to get fifteen dollars so there'd be money in the account Seriously? so she could use. Yeah. But uh, it got to the point where I was going like four <laughs> times a week and like is lying that why you people. were loopy? Oh, yeah. I was, like, lying to people. I mean, I, you know, everybody's been through tough times. Yeah. And it's how you get out of it. But uh, a good example is we went to Cabela's this weekend because I was just... haven't been out there for a while. I wanted to just take a little road trip on Sunday. Um, and we went out there, and we went to Cabela's a long time ago, and we saw all this stuff that we were like, 
wanted to buy like three years ago and stuff, but we couldn't even afford to buy anything. And we walked in there this time, and there was stuff, you know, that we saw that we wanted then that had no interest to us now. Yeah, it's funny. You know, and we went there. Change. We And you know what, to be honest with you? But I bought two sweatshirts there. In, and, the, in uh, the bargain cave. And I even yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and I even felt guilty about that, right? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, it's pretty cool to see how the <laughs> I remember you, has Olga. really, really grown. I, I cleaned up grown. Olga's paint mess at Clara's. <laughs> She's like, I do you remember that. me? I'm I the one that dropped the can. Remember you it was on. mouse in the house. Too I remember. Funny. Yes, so. Too funny. But yeah, but the point of it is, is you know, we've we've all been there, and it's not like any of us were born with silver spoons in our yeah. mouth or anything yeah. like that. And we appreciate the so fact we're a business of, of a different came. sort. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we so also recognize we, that yeah. without any of you guys, that it, you know, all yeah. your support, it wouldn't be what it is. Yeah, absolutely. And so, and yeah. that's why we struggled so hard to keep the price of paint what it is. Because, to keep it what it was. You know, because yeah. when we were going out and looking for a pro manufacturers, and we're like, well, you can't charge that, and we're like, well, we can't. Yeah. We can we can't charge because we good, know what it's like. Yeah, I don't we want, can't charge in good conscience. I don't want anybody to be what I did as I started this story, going out and trying to buy a quality furniture paint and not being able to afford it. Going, I either buy paint this week or I don't eat this week. Right. And so, um, you know, we keep our price point exactly where we need to keep it. So that way we can keep our doors open. And so it's not because we couldn't charge more for it, but for us it's more important. I want you to have beautiful furniture in your house. Whether you have, and I'm a big believer because you know what? I grew up the daughter of a fisherman and my mom worked in the fish plant. So very, very, you know, from the sea. Think about like back home on the island, it's kind of like down here people live off the land and the farm life up on the island. Yeah, I grew live up off a farm. Sea, right? Yeah, I grew up a farmer. <laughs> so much Subsistence like farmer what less. grows or what, you know, you catch in your net is what you live on. And so, um, but I always grew up, my mom, you know, I, I always saw that, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of money, but if she painted the wall, it changed the entire vibe of the room. You know what I mean? A $10 can of paint totally changed out. Do you know what I mean? Or somebody's secondhand curtains that maybe that, because trust me, I could not wait when I saw um, the clothes that people would, would just give to us, you know, hand-me-downs. That was like Christmas, like seriously, like how cool is that? Oh, well, me, so, look, all yeah. my kids came from uh, the Grimm kids. Yeah. My mom's best friends, she had, they had you know, more four money, boys. Had, yeah. yeah, they had a little bit more money, and I'd get their hand-me-downs, and they were all like super tall and skinny. Yep. And I would go to school every year, and I looked like, <laughs> <laughs> I looked like, I looked like Bozo the Clown. That's yeah. hilarious. That's hilarious. But it's true, right? Somebody, yeah. somebody else's hand-me-down clothes was absolutely, you know, yeah. to you was treasure. And so, you know, so the whole thing about what we do here at the Junk Monkey, when I say about how, you know, inspiration is free, and you can design on a dime, and, um, you know, you can make your home beautiful and comfortable and be proud of your home and not feel like you can't invite friends over or you can't have a pretty home. All you need to do is take what you got, put some paint onto it, totally change how it feels, the vibe of it. And you know what? You're going to have enough paint in your can to be able to do a bunch of projects, right? So for us at the Junk Monkey, you know, you guys being able to have multiple colors because you can afford it, being able to come back and buy more and just, and I also think that there's a whole other thing because, you know, painting is one thing and, and, changing something but painting is a whole other thing when it comes to therapy like seriously I don't know how many letters I get from you guys and you say you know it's because of painting that I reconnected with my daughter and now we paint together or it's because of your paint that my daughter will actually come out of her room and spend some time with her mom when we paint or you know um, it's because of your paint that now I've started moving again and it helped me recover just from an illness that I was really down from and depressed from because you guys know right I mean it's true Painting is not only are you getting the satisfaction of doing something, but it's also therapeutic. So right now I'm painting and I'm talking while I'm doing it and we're hanging out together. And you know, when this video is over and said and done with, it'll be an experience, right? That we hung out together and we did this together. And so that's, that's what I, I just hope for the people who buy our paint and enjoy it is that they just get so many more benefits from it um, than just, you know, it's, it's pretty special paint. And so, Physically as well, when we finally started working with a manufacturer, because that took a lot of money, let me just tell you, and I never thought, I'm a shark. basically everything we had. Everything we had. And so, um, I, you know, anybody else watch Shark Tank and you yeah. see those when people? Yeah, when we restarted, when we restarted with the 15 colors, 
and we put everything we had into it. Yep. It was either going to fly or it was yep. going to die. <laughs> so and we were like, man, you know, we have, you know, you guys love all the 40 colors that we have right now, but we cannot afford to be able to buy that much paint um, at one time as we transfer over to working with a manufacturer and getting it made bigger. It all costs big, big money. And that was something that me and Matt never, ever had ever Any and intentions so of doing yeah uh, or even just had the money even to even do until the junk monkey really people started finding out about us and word about it spread that you can have a quality paint that doesn't break the bank and does beautiful things and you know the junk monkey the pulse of the junk monkey is alive and well and you know to be able to see the owners create with it which it was made for me so this is what i've just been doing with it all along for you guys to be able to see that and inspire you guys and to be able to come to the well to get lots of inspiration so you know i think the junk monkey is definitely a community you guys know we show up here all through the week hanging out with you matt made me eat some really terrible crap yesterday but you know what you know what i'm, I'm still here still living anything. you just gave me a you i yeah. told you and nobody was, would take it home not I, even adam i told you it was bad right. and you didn't believe me so yeah. i had to i know yeah. i know true yeah. story yeah. but when we did start working with a manufacturer and um you know we had to share our recipe for paint and they're like you do what with your paint and uh, they'd never heard of what we did because it was truly organic. So our paint was never, you know, we didn't start off in business going, we're going to make a paint line and uh, we're going to do this and uh, it's going to be this way and we're going to model it after this. Absolutely not. Our paint oh. came um, just through me as a shabby painter wanting to be able to have an affordable quality paint that, that produced beautiful results that um, I could go to sleep at night and not feel bad because I, you know, took the grocery money. You know what I'm saying? How you know did what I'm I learn to make the paint? How cool well, is that? I grew up in a household with a mother who was a chemist. Who who had a chemistry degree among other degrees, but yep. stayed home to make sure that we weren't we didn't grow up uh, heathens. <laughs> uh, so I learned a lot from her. Yeah, and you're and really just, just good at combining instinct. stuff. Yeah, just yeah. chef stuff. And, you know, so he so. did a lot of research and yeah. tried lots of different um, ingredients, and I didn't even know what was in it. So he was just giving it to me to try, and then I would just go off a of pure, just got reaction going like, no, I don't like the texture of this, until we finally got yeah, it to a point, right? Yeah, after about the 30th time, and yeah. I was back then. I know, and that's why we bottled it in mason jars when I we was, first started. I was cussing by the end of it going, if, she, if this isn't it, this yeah. time, <laughs> I'm not going to. And I'm like, I like this. Uh, this the is glaze good. is yeah. what we put on our paint to give it a darkening effect like this here. Um, this is over top berry dance. If you're talking about sealing, you want to use either wax or the banana peel. Yep. Glaze is not a sealer. You got it. So guys, while I was chatting, you probably saw what I did. I pulled out my one of my holy grails of um, stencil books, which, listen, if you listen, Linda, if you are a painter of any sort and you love stencils like me, just because you're, you know, you're fun and you're whimsical and you like to add a little personality to your pieces, um, get one of these books. No, no, we did They're not. They're only get, like 15 bucks. We did not get sh help from Shark Tank and neither no, shall we ever started, do it. She likes Shark Tank. Yeah, I think you cut me off but when I, I started to talk about that. Let me finish that, that sentence. But real first, let me just finish the sentence I was saying. Go to jumpmonkeypaint.com, click Sonia's favorite things. In fact, Kate will probably put the link up. Get one of these, okay? Preserve. When you're going out and you're buying these stencils, keep them so you can use them over and over again. Quick question, will I ever wash my stencils? Nope, because I'm a low maintenance girl. I don't pay a ton for my stencils. I love to get them on sale and I love to keep them and reuse them over and over again. So early I talked about, you know, uh, I said, you know, if you see those people being on Shark Tank, that, you know, I don't know about you, but I love Shark Tank too. But what I was starting to say was that I never thought that we would ever get to the point where I would be like, you know, you watch or you listen, you're like, man, I don't even know the first thing about working with a manufacturer. Like that is not the world I'm even in. I'm a painter and that's what I do first. And so you see, uh, you see people like that, you know, have the business ideas and they take it and they move it forward. And you're like, you know, I would never be able to have a business like that. And I'm happy to say that, yeah, and we've done it on our own. So we didn't ha not have to go get help. Like I said, our business is completely run debt free. And, um, you know, if you don't have the money in the account, then I just think don't buy it. You know what I'm saying? That's just how we've ran our business. We like to keep it simple. We're also and lucky enough to it's work. It's pretty amazing, right? Work with a family owned paint company as well. Yes. Yeah, that, absolutely. That, uh, that wanted to work with us. Yeah, and we didn't. There are people that wanted to work with us and we didn't want to work with them, right? Yeah, so, we, yeah. yeah. So be smart yeah. about your business. Our stuff had to stay. Jump monkey had to stay jump monkey. Yep. Because, to be honest with you. This is the other thing that we learned. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll be honest with you. The junk monkey is 
everybody in this room yep, right now. Absolutely. And that's the honest God truth is that that is what it is. is it's an extension of us and it's who we are yep. 24 7, seven days a week. You got it. 52 weeks a year. Yep. 365 days. You and got it. Uh, so, yeah, so we're protective of the baby. And actually, you go to most manufacturers, they give you two choices of, of their paint. Yep. To put your name on it. This and, is where we, what we learned. But we were we super lucky that, that we, um, we, kept, we held out. Yeah, we held out. We wouldn't go. Yeah. So what we learned was that, you know, multiple paint companies are just, it's just marketing, right? It's just paint companies that are made by the same companies yeah. or they have no creative control or their creative control for their company is not even by a painter itself. Every color that I pick is pick colors that I would do as a painter myself. And so I'm happy to be able to have a business that's grown from a baby to where it is now, but it's because we nurtured it together. Do you know what I'm saying? We didn't hand off creative control to somebody else that go, what do you think would market best? It's always been about love and just authentically organic. Do you know what I'm saying? And working with our community. So, you know, we've held true to that. And uh, I just, you know, I'm, I just couldn't be happier. It's a lot of work. Speaking of work, what do you guys think of this? The napkin, right? So real quick, a few tips. All I did was I did a quick buff with our sand pad to knock some of the sheen off. I used our um, Teal River, the chalky style paint. Mr. Pickles got the muscles. He hangs on to pretty much everything under the sun. Glass, metal, wood, whatever. Who am I missing? Glass, metal, wood, today big is, wood. You today name is, uh, it. We use a stencil. And now I'm distressing with my medium. Um, today is Pam Walter's birthday. Pam, birthday? Well, happy birthday, Pam, the Junk Monkey Pam. Yes, we do have a giveaway today, by the way. And uh, we're giving away $20, 20, right? Dollars in banana yeah, bucks. Yeah, banana bucks. You got it. So, so I've got to finish up this piece right now. Steelers work on glass. What do you want to do with your glass? You want to yeah. seal your glass? Yeah, like after you paint it, yes. I'm just trying to think of the yeah, mason jar. Works. Yeah, I would use yeah. banana peel. Yeah. Remember, don't put a whole lot on it and um, go move quickly and use a soft brush. So right now, we have completely transformed this chair. We have some people coming in, just to let you know. Shop's open today. Hey, I know, guys. I know her. Yay. Oh, nice to see ya. We're going live right now if you want to say hello. No. No, <laughs> come on now. Hello, are you here to help pick out some paint colors? How fun is that? You guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kate's here, she'll help you. I'll turn this way so you can like yeah, get away. feel so, like, yeah, 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 you're not going to yeah, be yeah, like yeah. shown to the entire continent um, We don't have any retailers in Texas and uh, Dallas this. yet. We have San Antonio, but not Dallas, right? Uh, let me see here. We are also, we're working with a second Texas vendor, and I do believe I have her information in my inbox. So I will unveil that in the next day or so. Yep. Absolutely. There so there you go. So what? how cool is this? So guys, I have to tell you, when I find pieces like this, I mean, this was almost thrown out. And so somebody uh, who dropped this off to me here knows, give this on you. She'll take anything. Do you see how it has those, um, you basically the pieces of veneer right here that I'm missing? Do you want to come up and take a look at that real close? So you know what I'm saying right here? So I'm not somebody who goes and fills this with putty. I'm not going to fill it with, fill it with bond. I'm not going to go out of my way. In fact, I'm a shabby distressed painter. And so, you know, you realize that people pay other people to beat their furniture to make it look old. I love the fact that this is already old and used and tired. We're going to give it some new life and we're going to allow that to stay there. Okay. So I'm not somebody who's going to fix that. I'm going to be somebody that's going to do it distressed style and play it up anyhow. Right. Make sense. So now we're going to go ahead and seal this piece. And this is like one of my favorite parts of the whole thing because it's like when it all comes out, you know, it's, it's like, I tell people that sealing is like when you, um, you know, you get all dressed up, you put your jewelry on, all that good stuff. And now you finally say, oh, take my picture, right? So now we're going to seal it. I do have a vlog on YouTube and it's called the difference between wax and poly and like when to use it. Go look for that if that really helps you out. But in a nutshell, if there's anything that is that you're trying to super, super protect. So think about like tables, think about cabinets, all those things that get a lot of use. That's when you want to go with a poly, okay? And so for me, I've already done this in distress style. And yes, it's going to get some use, but I'm still going to protect it with my monkey shine. It's so easy. So I've got my wax brush here. These are all on our website right, at jumpmonkeypaint.com. I got a lot of questions. I go for it. But watch me as I'm doing this. All right. I'm, I'm Paint on it. Stop it. Watch me. So, um, yes. actually, you can paint a rug, yes. Yeah, absolutely. 
Absolutely. Right. Um, Kathy checks the we website. That's where we have all of our dealers listed. We add new every week. Yes. Or you can order live. Um, we actually have Zelda, I think, three I'm, coming out I'm this week. I'm very happy that our paint has helped you in your Aww, therapy and that's helped awesome. you get a little See, bit more. See, that's why we do back. what we do. I'm yeah. telling you, that's why we do what we Angela, do. Angela, you can mail us straight at the the business address at 111 Market Street. It comes right to our door. It's like old time mailman shows up. I know. This is this is speedy why I love delivery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> speedy, this and, is why uh, I love where I am. Yeah, yep. So. Yep. Absolutely. Your you mail gets brought Linda, to local Linda, Linda to post the mail. office. I don't know. <laughs> to the what? She's being funny. Oh, not Linda, Linda, Linda. No. All right, guys. Do you see this? Do you yeah. see the difference it's made already? Yeah. So I have plenty of time, okay? When we do invest in products at the Junk Monkey, we make them good. Yeah. Now, and Sandra, so you can use this. You have this. plenty of time, yeah. okay? You can actually work use with this on veneer or any kind of fake work. Where's a piece that has some veneer? Some what? Veneer. Fake, fake. Well, this oh, is oh, this bench. Know. This bench was, you can see the veneer right here. This is fake wood. You can see the uh, seam. Yeah, we did that live last week. Actually. You can see the seam right here. So this is, this is... And if you want to see a tutorial on this, just go back into the Facebook page and it's on there of the bench. We got covered over because we've been shipping and packing and doing all kinds of stuff. But this is fake wood. So, there you go. So, and I got, I got nails too, so there you go. So, yeah. Well, there you go. Just paint right over it. Heck yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and work over all the back right now. Just get it all over. The cool thing with our monkey shine, it's a sealer. You go in circles, so you're pushing it into your wood pores, and it's going to basically cap off everything, right? Now, a cool thing to do is if you don't seal this, you actually have a chalkboard on your hand. So if you really, really wanted to, and say you have... Um, you know, this is for, for kitties, right? Maybe it's not just an accent chair, but maybe it's for kitties. Um, you can not Mary seal Alice, it. Mary uh, Alice hit the uh, lottery. And then you let, you know, you can let them play with it, right? Mm -hmm. It'll come right off. See you, ladies. Bye. Send me See pictures. Have a good one. Mary Alice found two bar stools on the curb. Nice. <laughs> That's the best. Yeah. That's the best. Matt, Matt has nails. <laughs> um, not intentionally. It's just something that's nice. I do got... Um, have you been watching Monkey Jeffree Shine Star now, like, growing yeah. nails? Yeah, me and Jeffree Star have been hanging. <laughs> <laughs> In your dreams. Ah, oh, too funny. I don't know. I think me and Jeffree Star get along. Yes, if we went out partying, I think we'd burn the town down. Really? Oh, yeah. I think we would, yeah. Oh, my oh, gosh. Too funny. So, what's everybody working on this weekend? It is Friday, after all. So, I don't know about you, but when I was... Doing the, you know, the regular nine to five job. I could not wait, positively wait for the clock to hit like four or five o'clock whenever I was getting off that day and uh, be able to get home, get out of my dress clothes and be able to get to painting. So I'm curious to hear. Did anybody else out there feel uh, like that? Yeah, Rebecca, we will buff this off. Oh, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. But actually, this is what's really cool about our, um, about our wax is that it is so rich, it's not going to dry up on me before I get a chance to do yeah, that. The funny thing is there's a spot right here. Can you see, you see it? it? Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, Perfect. you got it. When I buff too, I can basically pull my um, wax over any other yeah. areas, and I'll show you what I mean when I do that in just a second. Karen says, my paint party is tonight in Johnstown. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Dang. You know what? That's why I say this. I just feel like this month is just flying by. Oh, Rebecca, if you're, if you're going to seal that wrought iron, you're going to want to use... Uh, either a poly like a poly use, yep. you want to use an outdoor thing wax wax will it's great for the inside it's great for the inside but in direct sunlight and weather it will melt eventually and our wax is all natural as well or, yeah. yeah yeah wax is meant for interior projects for sure yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mother nature is a beast you want to have make sure you have something with an extra layer of protection so the difference between poly Matt, and monkey shine is that, that monkey shine goes into that. your pores and you buff off what's on the outside. Poly goes into your pores, but also forms a layer of protection that you're going to need with the sunshine and all that Sandra stuff. Sandra says, Matt, your voice sounds just like a guy named Scott in Ohio. His fiance sells clothes on Facebook. Oh, that's funny. He's just imitating me. 
<laughs> there can only be one, right? Yes, yeah, send it, Kimmy. Send a picture when you're done. There you go. Uh, this is Teal River. Uh, oh, I love Teal River. Do you have any more of your stringy banners? Mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, stringy banners? Oh, shabby swags. I think we got a couple. They're like, mine. They're, Are you trying to give away my swag? Why did my you swag know? set swags. Well, yeah, we did our virtual sell, and uh, it takes a lot to make them if you want to make them good, right? And we had good ones. Maybe you can so do So if we do a, some more, yeah. we'll, we'll let you know. Yeah. 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 But I will tell you, since we're kind of on this topic real quick, okay, I'll tell you about the next virtual sale we have coming back, coming up. And I want to, you guys can help me raise money for my trip home to Canada, okay? I told you, <laughs> I told you that we started the Junk Monkey, a very, very um, true story, right? Yeah, I needed money to go home to Canada, and I didn't have money, so I went and... Well, we figure you'd furniture. need to do a thousand dollars, and we didn't have like a hundred dollars for an egg. I know we had no extra seat, none. And she goes, "Well, I'm going in three weeks, and I had to stay home and work because." Yeah, he couldn't even come with me because yeah. he if we couldn't we couldn't both take time off of work, right? And so you guys know how that is. I mean, I know somebody out there is living that. Jane right for now. kitchen cabinets, go get our kitchen cabinet video. Hey, hey what's up, Mr. Yo, UPS man? You can drop that right there. Hey, bud. Yeah, if you need a signature, let me know. I'm more than happy. How's your day going? Pretty good. Not too bad. It's good. Friday. You running between the raindrops? Trying. Yes. That's what we're saying. Hey, you take care. You too. I'll see, see ya. See ya. Oh, nice. What is that? I don't know. I have to look and see. We get all kinds of mail here. I'll have to open it and figure out what it is. Oh, let's um, see. Let's see here. So, anyways. But yeah, and she was like, she'd come home. She had this little box her mother gave her. It had Newfoundland on it. And it was like a little keepsake box. And she goes, I am going to fill this with money. I think you started, and you just started posting stuff on you Shell Trade, right? Yeah. And there, at that time, there was nobody doing it. What's that? What you were doing. Oh, no, no, and, no absolutely uh, not. So I'd come home from work. I'd work all day. I was working like 16 hours I've a day. I've been painting for over 10 years Was that now. the year I almost lost my hand? At work? I don't know. But, Probably. Uh, Good God. I was working 16 hours a day. Walking uh, zombie. At, uh, well, I was still at Nemecolon, wasn't I? Uh -huh. Yeah, I was still at Nemecolon. And uh, I'd come home every day and be like, did you sell something? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> and I'd go over to Box and I'd open the box and there'd be money in it. And I think cash, by, right? It was I, awesome. Yeah, it was cash. I think by the end of the 10 days, she had like a $900. And we were passing a ship, so I have to tell you that. You know, me being an office corporate person, I would get home by 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, switch into my paint clothes, enjoy the yeah. evening. My son was five years old at the time, and, you know, I could watch him, and I could do what I was doing in the evenings. And moving from Canada to here, I didn't know anybody, so oh, I that was put my music expensive. on yeah. and just did my thing, right? Yeah, it was extremely So Matt expensive would too. work food service as a chef in the evenings, and he would go in about 3 o'clock. So when he was going in, I was getting ready to come home. And so when he was at work, this is what I was doing. I was painting <laughs> and making money to get myself home for a visit. Well, and uh, I don't think you even realized how much I was selling. You probably didn't want to be on the thing, right? Yeah, and then what was it right before you left? I'm like, did I you have it? And I was nervous at $900 because I'm like, that's just enough to get you up there and back. I mean, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I, was, I was a little bit worried because if anything happened and then at the, end of, that, extra seat, right? the end of that 10 days, there was like $3,400 in there. That's how much she painted. Oh, yeah. Listen, I am a girl. Like, if I in have 10 a, days. Uh, yeah. 10 days. If I have a... Uh, let me just say, you know, when you have a goal, you just work for it. You get it done. You Show them the done. buff brush. They want it are the, the buff rag. Yes. This buff rag. Buff oh, rag. the buff rag? Okay. So this is what you put your wax on with. Get, get it. It is an awesome, awesome investment, and you use it over and over again. These are the buffing uh, rags right here, okay? They're on our website, junkmonkeypaint.com. I use mine over and over again, and they're made. They're actually a trademark cloth that's for painters like us, okay? That um, you need a tightly woven material because if you're using your monkey shine and it still feels, um, like it still feels kind of oily because those rich oils, you want them in your piece, <laughs> not on top of your piece, right? So buff it out. Jimmy buff it like I don't care, okay? Turn your towel and go again and keep on going just like that. Yeah, Rebecca, yeah. Well, that's, you got it. I, I get your drift. If you have cats too, cat, you can paint cats too. They like. Oh my gosh. They like to paint themselves. That'll be next week's class, okay? We'll be doing DIY all next week on so yeah uh, last class, okay? chance get in $20 banana yeah. box you share the video I'll show you guys the next Type sale shareable. I'll be having okay yep. so which will if I can get it done this week meaning, I'll bring this over here. meaning okay. um, get everything in order for it then we'll you wash them when you're done you guys have been messaging me about these because you know 
But I'm a girl who likes to paint, and so yeah, this um, is the new thing that she does to uh, get to keep on myself it. occupied. The therapy that we talk about. So I love to paint when I go home in the evenings. Um, so there's a little birdie, and you guys know I always say I'm a girl whose glass is half full. So you'll find that I have a lot of positive message. These are all the real deal paint paint that we've um, done. The jump monkey paint. Yep, you've got this chicky. This one is flourish. All right. Flourish in your life, okay? How about this one? I just, I love I love cute and whimsical. I can't keep my hands off painting cute stuff. I just can't help it. Also love me some polka dots and some posies. Uh, and sure, some, sure in a second. Yep, and some uh, rosettes, Let's right? Let's paint a rug next week so I can see how it's there done. There you go. <laughs> this is just some shabby ro roses and rosettes that I put together. So much fun, guys. I've got some... I've got some classes coming up for you guys, okay? So I just want you to show you how you can have so much fun with Jug Monkey Paint in all different ways, all right? I'm gonna show well, you. keep going. Yep. So you guys might remember this one here. So this is my cactus. This is my, uh, my. you guys know that I, I put a mouth piece on this one and did a funny thing where she says, hope you're having a marvelous day. Remember her? This is my shabby roses right here. I have put a few of these over. I started a new uh, section on junkmonkeypaint.com called Banana Bunch Swag because you guys have been asking me, can we buy, you know, you're kind of seeing glimpses of these where sometimes maybe I show you on Instagram or even here on Facebook, um, just a little bit of what I'm working on and you've been asking to buy them. And so I've been telling you that they will be up for sale. I'm gonna have an entirely original artwork sale coming up um, over this next week. This is just fun polka dots and a, and a posy. And, um, but you can have the prints as well if you go over there and find, you know, prints on just different sorts of like, you know, mugs and things like that, but you get to hold the actual original. Yes, artwork, it works well on which is cool, right? Actually, it works really good. Storms never last. Heck no. So it's kind of like, you know, what I've been telling you guys is that, you know, you can go through rough seasons of life, but you know what? That season can change, right? Mermaid vibes make I waves. I love the cow. Can girl. you do a tutorial? Yes, I sure can. Absolutely. You watch in the next week or so, you'll see what I have planned for you guys. Um, so, Mermaid Vibes, Make Waves. I know a lot of you guys have bought the cup uh, mug with her on. And this one just says, Chin Up Buttercup, Fix Your Crown. She's got big buns in her hair and, you know, kind of like got a crown on. This one here, the one and only Queen Bee. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of space. All well, right. Then so, put it up here. All right. Okay. Good deal. <laughs> there you go. So, there's that one, Owl You Need Is Love. This is, you'll find that in my paintings that I tend to do like um, what will be like considered like Im impressionistic. Fauvism, it's called, where you know you see it. It's, what I ism? Just, it's called basically where you paint imperfectly perfect, right? And I'm in, not. In the words of Ferris Bueller, isms are generally not yes. good. So you see what I'm saying? When, so this is cotton stems. This is my Mr. Shabby Owl. Love me, Shabby. Do what you love. You will do it well if you stick with your niche of just what makes you happy, right? And so you'll find that. I always say I tend to steer towards the dark and the shabby, and that's why you see like a lot of black edging and that sort of thing in my pieces. I did this one this past um, summer on July the 4th when I was home. I'm like, what can I paint? You know what I mean? So having lots of fun. Field of dreams. You'll also see lots of teals that I like to use and to be a blend teals. Um, and then, you know, if you just heard my story on here, um, you'll probably really understand this one right here. It says, and she let go and she still lived. And I think a lot of times in life we think about, you know, is it scary to leave your job? Is it scary to leave, to, um, to kind of like step away from what you know, do something that's out of the norm, like leaving a corporate job and just going ahead and designing your own life and being able to put your life together the way you want to put it together. And so when I painted this one, this is what I was thinking that you can, um, you make jumps in life. I mean, I almost jumped off, but you make jumps in life and you can be, you can, you can surprise yourself, right? But if you don't have faith in yourself, how do you expect anybody else out there? Do so you poly them. do what you need. I'll teach you how to do all that. Just watch my page upcoming, what I, what I do. And yes, I do put a sealer on up and I'll show you what I use. So yay. So there you go. So wow. This, this video today turned into much more well, than uh, what I anticipated. want to see the chair. Right? So this chair, I've been sitting in it. It's nice and it's softened up from sitting in it for a few times. So you want to jump in there? Sure. Quick? All right. That sounds good. There you go. Jump oh, in. Jump in right. there. All right. I'm going to jump in the chair. This is this is true story. We have a TV that's on the other end of the shop here, which by the way, oh, thank you. This coming week, we have some things that have happened behind the scenes here at the Junk Monkey. And we're going to take you through some really cool things starting Monday right here on our page. We'll be live all week this upcoming week. And, um, Lots of fun stuff, like seriously, you're gonna see parts of the junk monkey that you've never seen before and just some new things that are happening on the front that will, as I talk about like with my paintings and um, just 
I'm not even gonna tell you. I'm gonna leave you hanging the entire weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, we don't. We don't. You don't. We don't copyright the paintings. I mean, my designs, you mean? Yeah, we're not copying. I'm pretty much a keep it simple, simple kind of girl. So what yeah. I what I like to do you is you don't want to spend um, that much money. Put my prints, yeah. right? You know what I mean. In terms of like using it for inspiration, go for it. I really definitely think that well, this is a topic for a whole other thing. But yeah. there's a difference between inspiration and copying somebody. You can if you're looking at somebody's piece while you're doing it and you're trying to copy it down to the point, then you have some issues because now you're copying somebody, right? And so, but you can look at a piece and get inspiration and do your own. That's totally okay, right? So maybe we'll talk about that on a whole other vlog. So um, my gosh, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just like story time in a chair. It is what it is. But yeah, we have a TV at the other end of the Ms. shop here. And, uh, sometimes we sit. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So this concludes our lovely um, DIY today. Yeah, will you, Matt, please? So you see right here, people have been coming in my store going, are these for sale? For sale soon. So what I have to do is uh, finish getting uh, my artwork all scanned and put on to um, all the things that are being added over at junkmonkeypaint.com. Click, click banana bunch swag. And then you guys will be able to purchase these original art prints and you'll be able to have them and say, my gosh, everybody's got the mug to this cactus, but I have the original painting, which is pretty darn cool. All right, uh, the winner today of 20 Big Banana Bucks is Beth Lear. Beth Lear! Beth Lear. Well, Beth Lear, thanks for being here, Beth Lear. Yes. There you go. Oh, we don't know it. King Lear. Says can't show it. Yep. Woohoo, this was cool, right? So what you have to do is email us at jumpmonkeypan right. at gmail.com before midnight Eastern Standard Time to claim your prize. There you go. After midnight, you yeah. turn into a pumpkin. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Right. So make sure, and we'll put winner winner in the subject line. Uh, so Jeff Monkey so can at gmail.com back by midnight tonight Eastern Standard Time. Okay, uh -oh. so we can get you a whole The cup. siren's going off. I guess it's time to go. All right, so <laughs> there is a new vlog going up tonight, by the way. Um, it's actually working right now to upload. For those of you who don't know that we vlog over there as well, Mondays, sorry, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, how long have we been and on? And I'm really sharing with tea. you guys my book that I'm reading right now, that when I go home at night, what is the book that I will read? So I'm sharing with you since yesterday was national book lovers day national book day what was it kate national, national book, book day lovers day. book lovers day okay i'm a bookworm a book nerd and so i love me some books and so i'm sharing with you guys what i'm reading and also my takeaways for um for what i'm reading in terms of you know when i read something what i think about it and just how it's been making me feel so there you go thanks for hanging out with me now i have three more of these chairs to do that i have to get to but you can see how easy it is and so there you go. Done. Hopefully there's your inspiration for this weekend. And we'll meet back here. I may be on this weekend as well, showing you what I'm up to. But we DIY Monday through Friday here on this page. If you've been noticing, we've been doing that the last few weeks. And so we'll see you again on Monday where we have some fun news. And you guys will uh, get even more inspired, I promise. All right. Congratulations, Beth. And thank you to everybody who hung out with us today. Thank you for sharing and all your support of the Junk Monkey. No, it's uh, it's just a fire station. Yes, it goes off a million one times a day. Yes, that's why we're just like. Should we all be running right now? Maybe. Uh, all, right. all right. See ya. See you guys. Bye.